who is going to come out of the AFC South. Will it be Spot Me Please or will it be Silent Soldier? Silent will get the ball first. Yeah, just a reminder, Silent Soldier in the Tampa Bay offensive playbook with the Kansas City defense. Spot Me in the Seattle Seahawks offensive playbook in the multiple defense. Of course, that multi-D gives you the opportunity to both have the 3-4 and 4-3. Of course, you can find that in the Patriots defensive playbook as well. First and 10 at the 33 as these guys set up their audibles, on-fly audibles. I'll be honest with you, RG, really changed things. It's my favorite feature in Madden in a long time. Really lets you open up your offense. And the way defense plays in Madden 18, boy, do you need it, you know? Defense is tough, real tough. And remember, for a long time, in Ultimate Team and Draft Champions, those type of modes, there was no way to set your custom audible, so the playbooks you could use it was limited because you needed to find playbooks. You were playbooks stuck with that, those four plays when you went to the yeah, line. Yeah, so you needed to find playbooks with good default audibles, but with audibles on the fly. Now, you're in control of what plays you bring to the line of scrimmage. And like you said, it's just completely changed the way we've been playing Madden lately. Second and four. Silent will hand it off to Jones. He's right there at the sticks, but it's going to be third and one. Aaron Jones, that's a team of the week item from Green Bay. And like you said, if you're tuning in and you like trash talking and <laughs> a little jippering back and forth, you're not going to see it in this game. You see a good run game out of Silent Soldier, and then from Spot Me Please, you're going to see somebody that can really air it out. What a play! Dicing in there! Losing a yard, bringing the spinner. And a man got free. And, and that's going to bring a fourth and two, and he's going, RG. Yeah. Silent Soldiers found himself in defensive battle after defensive battle. Spot me, please, the complete opposite. Let's see who can impose their will. But, yeah, big play here, Coltrane. Like you said, going for it on fourth and two on the first possession. Big momentum play for Spot. Out at the 41. Wentz going to the air. Low pass. Nope. And Hill. You know, I felt like Silent against I'm Wild maybe got away with a few throws. Oh, he for sure had two corner routes that he chucked into triple coverage that he, end, what, that he ended up catching. A little bit of flukiness, but then you also remember Wild threw one right at him that he clicked on and dropped an interception. But yeah, he's going to want to clean that stuff up. You can only make a living getting away with those reads for so long. Let's get a quick update of the start of the other game, guys. We got Deliverance and JS the best, oh the Steelers gosh. and the Ravens. Interception, Ryan Chase here for the second time today, going pick six all the way to the house. Early 7-0 lead, 340-ish left in the first quarter. We'll keep you posted on this one, guys. Wow. Another pick six for Deliverance. And that's like spotting somebody points. That was insane. I, Ryan Shazir made a heck of a play on that. I think Bullet that was the AI. Like that. <laughs> oh my, maybe it's the, the Steelers, Shazir giving some Steelers magic, showing some appreciation that he got him on that team. And we've seen a lot less Ryan Shazir on people's lineups since you no longer can play those linebackers at tight end and then be so reliable. We're still wishing him well. Recovery. Be a good day when you see Ryan Shazier back on the field. Yeah, absolutely. If you're a football fan, whether you're a Steelers fan or not, you had to appreciate the way that man played the game. Third and nine at the 29. In field goal range. Trying to work his way in the red zone. I like that he's taking his time here, killing the clock. Like we said, who wants to impose their will? You, Silent definitely doesn't want to turn this into a shootout. Low throw, and Cooks can't hang on. Paul Krause darting in there. They want to slow this game down, put together long drives, and keep Spotney's offense off the field. It's not a perfect kick that's right outside the accuracy window. Chances can get blocked. I dare say we haven't seen a block today. And it's up and it is good. And Silent Soldier strikes first with a 46 yarder. Now let's see what Spot Me's got on offense. I'm telling you, every time I would look up, I'm trying to watch a Spot Me game. I look away, I look back, and he's in the open field making moves on his horse. Let's see what he puts together here. 
And I've said it time and time again, he's one of the few players that will throw guys open. I mean, he will not be open. He'll be like neck for neck, and then he'll just lead pass. He's like a lead pass ninja. Yeah, he's got great vision. And he's also got an underrated r run game. I think where he really, he made that, when Stiff won that belt to Madden 16, where he really made a name for himself when he made that final eight was aggressive catch was such a big part of the meta. And here comes Spot Me Please, and it wasn't a part of his game at all. He was just getting his guys open, and it was just so respectable. And the way he handles himself. Of course, in 17, he'd, he'd win the Classic. He's a superstar, and I love that the Tennessee Titans show him the support that they do. Even before the club championship, when he won, they sent him the custom Spot Me Please jersey. They tweet at him. And you really couldn't have a better guy representing your team. So I love seeing them get behind him. He deserves it. Second and 12. Ball at the 37. Full-time family man. Works as a credit analyst. Actually has to take time off of work to come to these events. Burning that is. PTO, and he's also burning DBs. Throwing them open. Let's get an update on the other side. What's up, guys? We got pick sixes all over the place over here, guys. JS going ahead and do his thing, picking that ball off, going all the way back to the crib, tying it up with deliverance. 7-7, seven, seven, two defensive touchdowns, still two minutes to go left in the first. Back to you guys. It's dangerous to throw it through the air. They talk about anytime you throw it, through, you know, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. Madden 18, more than ever, I find myself in these games when I'm playing online where it's who wants to throw it away on <laughs> offense more? Who's going to throw more pick sixes? Second and 10. Checks it down to Moss. Made a man miss. And all that for two yards. Trailing by a field goal, ball in the 31. Needs eight for the first. Spot me. Motion across the formation. Deshaun. Gets a block and then there's a low throw. Had a man right in his face. And he's gonna have an opportunity to kick the field goal here, RG, and not things up at three. Silent Soldier not even going for the block. And that's a win for Silent Soldier right there. Like you said, you just don't want to turn it into a shootout. And we've seen him just be in low-scoring game after low-scoring game. I mean, what did he beat Wild? 10-6? It's 10-6 in that one. And then his game against Mills was like 15-13. He, he just has a low-scoring game. Yeah, 15-13. He beat Mills in the finals of that Texans Club series. So three to three right here. So first and ten for Wentz. And Soldier gets sacked. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. So let's slide over to the Ravens and the Steelers. Seven and seven. It's been a pick six fest. Make sure you get your t-shirt in the lobby. 39. Ball to 33. Here comes that loop. That's going to be a loss of eight. And that's more importantly going to bring up fourth down. Papa JS right there. Keon Shelton. JS the best is dad. Rooting him on all day. He's the one that put the stick in JS's hands. Fourth and 18. And Deliverance will have to punt it away. And it's a sky kick to the 41. So first and 10 now for JS. 20 seconds to go in the first. And a 7-7 game. Anderson in motion. Watch that stretch. Hands it off. And she's going to lose a yard and a half there. Second and 11. Anytime you see someone in those single back type formations, you got to watch out for the dive. The stretch, and if they have the pitch in that formation, that as well. It seems to be what everyone wants to do when they come out in that under center. And some good games here, but can you believe tonight? Problem, Skimbo. 
Those guys will play, won't play each other. But they'll be there tonight with a chance to move on to Minnesota. Oh man, I texted Skimbo earlier today. Just trolling, saying, hey, we need to go take a picture with W where he's wearing the Patriots jersey. He said, RG, I'm too focused right now for that stuff. I said, my bad, Skim. All the way down to 30. I did see W early. Let's go double box here between these two games. Both these guys in a tight one. I like the double box. 7-7 seven, seven and 3-3. Three, three. Third and inches over here on the right. Hand off over here on the left. Both these guys in the second quarter. And Silent on third and inches is in the eye form. Goes fullback dive, and that'll move the sticks. Old school fullback dive. You don't see those as much anymore in Madden. After Madden 16, I think we were good. We we're all set. First and goal at the eight. Stretching it out here on the left side. What can you believe this slow scoring? A 7-7. Seven, seven. Both Let's of those go. on pick six. Oh. And Silent Let's gets go. into the end Let's zone. Go. And the Texans take the lead. Ricky Cisnetos, man on a mission. And that's big to get the touchdown against Spot Me, please. Especially being such a defensive, as much as a defensive player, the Silent Soldier is. And, uh, and have a big fourth and two. And so it's almost like we're watching mirror games. Here's the kick. It's going to be 10-7 on the left and 10-3 on the right. But Spot Me Please is going to have an opportunity with 3.18 on the clock to work his offense. And a pretty good return out to the 36. Take a look once again how, how Silent Soldier was able to get things done, how he's able to get himself down into that end zone in a 10-3 game. Just a quick handoff Here we go. and a little bit of quickness, a little burst there at the five-yard line, and that was enough go. to get him in the end zone. 10-3 over here. Ball at the 36. Spot me. Oh, B's open. B's open. That's Deshaun a shot. Deshaun Watson finds Randy Moss. All the way down to the 14 yard line. Oh. You heard that. Got caught up on the line. Look at that. He's, he's usering Williams. Yeah. And Williams ain't going to get back there, my friend. Yeah, and we said it. You can't be getting caught up on the DT if you want to win this game. That's what we talked about. If you're a beginner put Madden player, user in the D line is not the move. You need to be lurking around out there in coverage, taking away multiple routes, looking for the user pick. But if you play mud squads, it's fire. But that's a totally different story. Totally different story, <laughs> Coltrane. Stay Second and 12. Here. Sorry about that. The throw. Oh! It's low. He and right it. there at the one yard line is Julio. He got Calls it. Calls it in. And now Spot Me Please is trying to tie this thing up. Both of these guys got good game faces. You notice that, Coltrane? Oh, they're locked in. They're not worried about our tomfoolery out here. Yeah, look at that. He's focused, and then look at that. That's a game face right there, Coltrane. Got the low brow. Get locked in. And... The Touchdown. Spot me, please. I mean, if, if there was ever not an appropriate name, <laughs> I don't know anyone that's spotting spot me any type of points. Like, no, brother, you're just a little too good for that. And it's up, and it is good. 10 to 10. Here in the AFC South, 2.05 to go. And he'll get out of bounds. Let's go ahead and fly over to the other side. And the AFC Ooh. North, as Deliverance has finally gotten something going here. He's down near the red zone. He's at the 31 with 90 seconds to go in the half. First and 10. 
Trying to take the lead on this drive. And McKinnon. JS. No, sir. One thing I noticed about JS's pops, Papa JS, is he's rocking some Eagles gear. Yeah, he's got it. So he might look he's at that. Eagles so he's an yeah. Eagles fan, and they're playing in the Super Bowl, and Jelani can win this game. That ain't, that Get them to yeah, trip to Minnesota. Secure some Super Bowl tickets. He might be swagging. If that happens, he can just slide on the Father's Day gifts for the rest of his life. Oh like, my. you're good. You're good. Dropped in the end zone by Richardson. Absolutely. Can keep you your ties. Keep that? your old spice. I don't need that. Taking Super Bowl your, tickets will be fine. Oh, taking your father to a Super Bowl. Wow. I feel like a bad son now. Third and 11. Ball at the 33. Edge of field goal range. So he hands it off to McKinnon. And that's a smart play by Deliverance. Because that's going to give him an opportunity for a much easier attempt. And we've seen some missed field goals today. Haven't seen any blocks, but we've seen some misses. But this one is dead in the center, and we're tied. 10-10 in both of these games, RG. Oh, it's action. What do you talk? What do you think's going to happen? We're getting down to the nitty-gritty. None of these guys are messing around. We got high-level Madden going on. Takes it at the 28. Boy, Paul, Paul Krause came super manning down the field. That's a tactic a lot of people like to do. They'll do that pooch kick to so your fullback or your tight end, and they'll quickly click on to one of those gunners. Try to submarine them. Try to get down there and clap them as soon as he catches the ball. The Most players will usually fair catch it, or as soon as they catch it, hold that RB button to cover up and avoid that fumble. First and ten. Oh, come on. And oh, that's a big off. pick. That's Learned a big again. pick. He's got room. Deliverance. Oh, again, Eckes, double recovery. It He's is. still on his home. Touchdown Steelers! Wow! The steel curtain is back! Oh no, Papa JS's face said it all. What a play before half. That's a crucial turnover. This free play is about to be lit. Well, if Papa JS is an Eagles fan, that tells me he's definitely not a Steelers fan. I mean, that was like the <laughs> screenshot, like that moment when you might not go to the Super Bowl. Oh no! But here's one Gotta thing. Gotta settle down. You're only down a touchdown. Yeah, and let's think about this. JS, we've seen him make some phenomenal comebacks already, but look Woo! at this intro. That's a user lurk. And then watch the, the step stumble. work in. The Swerve. stumble recovery. Stumble recovery. Get to the sideline. Life on the line. Agassa, touchdown. Do the whale celebration. And JS is frustrated, and I don't blame him. That was a big play he let up. My, oh, my. My, oh, my. He's still in this game, though. We've seen him come back from worse. 30 seconds as he throws it away. We got a wild one in both of these. I love this game, Scott. Let's go two box here. Okay, so we got some red zone action. Do the Hanson impression, Coltrane. <laughs> Between the Texans... And the Titans, he's at the 12-yard line for spot me, please. And he's going to have to, I'm sorry, Josh Kobe, he's going to have to settle for a field goal here. You take a field goal. And he'll take a field goal, and he'll take the lead. 13-10 to 10 with 32 seconds left in the half. And J.S. with a three and out has to punt it away and try to play some defense uh -oh. here. Oh no, JS, man. He's a, this is crucial situation for JS right there. He cannot let deliverance get into field goal range. And that 19 seconds over there is huge between the Ravens and the Steelers. Let's lock in over here. Yeah, this is big right here. This is a huge 19 seconds, like you said, Coltrane. Ball at the 50. First and 10. He does have a timeout. This could really dictate the tone of this game moving forward. Motions Randy Moss. And we got some uh -oh. movement on the left end. And that's going to be Suggs. And he'll give him an extra five. That's five crucial yards. Needs about another ten to be in field goal range. Baltimore Ravens versus the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's a rivalry right there. <laughs> NFC North. Who's going to own the division, Coltrane? Yeah, this AFC North. There's no love lost between any of these squads. This has been fun. This is this has been a blast. 
All these guys representing their teams. Who's going to get out of the division? Stingy over here. Yeah, it's amazing. And then the best part is they're not the only ones with anything on the line. The NFL teams themselves, have, yeah. uh, they're riding on this. They the fan it. bases, the teams, they want their swag. Hands it off to McKinnon. McKinnon, there You're he is at the champions. 34. That might have been a three-point run. Oh. Going to try to get another playoff here. Is he? And I think uh -oh. he's going to try to get some more yards. Blocked. Time but out. can't get free. And he'll take a timeout with two seconds. He was getting nervous there. You ever get that where the you always wonder, like, am I going to get timeout here? Yeah, I wouldn't even have done the run. Would have been, it was the smart move. But like you said, I get nervous sometimes. This is a big kick. Oh, that's right. That's money. Third and four. And it's up, and it is good. Just barely over the crossbar. But that makes it a two-possession game right at the half. Deliverance, just a big sigh of relief right there. And, and the oh, crazy no thing, he's going to double dip the chip here. So you get a, get some points before the half, and now you get the rock. One of the few times double dipping's okay. So starting the third quarter, Deliverance. Has the ball in the lead, and Randy Moss! He's got one man to beat, and he won't! Harrison Smith that's chased him down. That's why. If you want to ask me why you do it, that's why you do it. Okay. He's saying, did he come out an onside kick? He comes kick out an onside kick, because then your wide receivers are more up the field. Oh, so you wow. come out an onside kick, and then audible, audible to the regular. Very strange. Hey, we even we, we get to learn I'm things learning. up here at the booth. I'm I love it. Now. That's why you love watching these guys. Come out and on if you and you know what that's something you do after you see your opponent likes to do the pooch sure. kick. Maybe you don't do it the first don't show time. Show it early, yeah. You let them feel comfortable about that pooch kick and then you hit them with it, audible before they see it. Really good stuff by deliverance. And there's McKinnon, he'll run it in! <laughs> Come on. Them trucking backs, he's referring to that uh, Derek, the Derek Henry. Henry's, the Herschel Walkers, Bo Jackson's. Even saw Leonard Fournette for problem in his big win. Volterex with the Lynch. Marshawn Lynch. Yeah, see, that normally you get that big fullback, 10 cap, tight end right there, but if you do what Deliverance did, Get a goon. There's McKinnon. All I can tell you is because of that one moment on this stage, you're going to see so many people picking onside kick and out of them. Like it, that's yeah, the meta that's now. The, that just became the meta. And it's good. Why not? It's a good strategy. And Fuller gets the first down. Let's get an update on what's going on in the AFC South. We've got some action going on over here. Silent against Spot Me. Silent with a nice pass where he going all the way to the crib. Who got right around that edge? Takes the lead, 17-13. Back to you guys. Wow, close one. Yeah, we Down might. south, up north. 17-point lead now. Yeah, we might want to get back to that other game. I mean, this one's not over at all, but that's nitty-gritty over there between Spot Me and Silent. Yeah, still a lot of time over there. Still a lot of time here, and I think we'll tell a lot about what happens on this drive, whether JS is going to close the gap here or is Deliverance going to run away with this thing. It was 10 to 10, 17 points unanswered. Yeah. Fell apart for JS at the end of that second half. And it's a sandwich. Sack him up. Fourth and 21. And I'm not saying this might be it, but I'm saying this might be it. And deliverance though and this is his first ever both of these guys first ever ea majors and boy course, if they made some noise of course he was down 18 to chaos about this point kind of midway through the third and came back to win by 11. and you know what's crazy coltrane is a run like this in a tournament like this it does wonders for your Madden career. All of a sudden, you expect to be there. You've experienced it before. You know what it takes. And qualifying for him gets a little bit easier as you get these experiences. Fourth and 21. He's got to throw it up. And it'll fall to the turf. 
and Deliverance will take over at the 33-yard line. So let's go ahead and head back down south. Texans and Titans. The silent Soldier has a four-point lead, but Spot Me's got the ball. Yeah, this is where it's at right now. This game is nitty-gritty. Takes it to the 27. Thought for a minute he was going to throw it to A on that deep post. Told you about their game faces, Scott. You see that? Locked in. Two minutes to go in the quarter. Third and six. Bunch to the right. Making it trips to the right. Tying into the left. Can't let him roll out to the left right here. He's got both those crossing routes going that way. Watson. Oh, good read. Comes back to Randy Moss. So a little smoke and mirrors. You had all kind of action going to the left, and Moss comes back to the right and picks up the first down. Just a good read. I, I think Spotty wanted to roll to the left on that play, but if the drag got open to the right, he knew he would take it. And if the play broke down, he knew where he needed to go. Well, hand it off on the delay. Gets a block. And now he's in the red zone at the 13. Jared McKinnon show up for both these guys. Deliverance and Spot Me both rocking them. And Jared McKinnon has been more than serviceable for Spot Me, please, thus far over the last couple days. Moss will pick up the first down. And you're going to have first and goal from the nine. Spot trailing by four. Spot Me uses that 83 overall team of the week, Jared McKinnon. Well, Deliverance, on the other hand, has the 85 NFL playoff version of McKinnon. And Mutt, there's all types of different programs, so there could be multiple versions of an a different item. cap. A lot different of times, different ratings, different caps. He would, I mean, Spot Me would love to have the 85 guy, just doesn't have the cap to fit in his scheme. Yeah, the 41 cap for Spot Me, well, Deliverance is cost them 44 cap, so a three cap difference there. And, Three cap might not sound like a lot, but when you're building these rosters, every one of those points counts. That might be the difference between having the kicker you want and not. Yes, absolutely. Second and goal. And that's the fun thing. I mean, you could spend hours trying to get that one point out so you can put this one guy in. It's I'm telling you. It's that, mesmerizing. That mud head lineup tool. Lots of time sunk into that thing. Second and goal. Ooh. And I think he had the read option there. And I think he wanted to keep it. Accidentally held the A button. Spot me's got himself in a situation. Field goal does not tie this game up. He's in that dead zone, as you like to call it, Coltrane. It gets rough here. Toughest yards in Madden football. Last here? play. Oh, oh. Of the oh, quarter, Deshaun. Oh, it's close. He's on the one. They put him at the one. Oh, Nelly, what do you do here? Oh, he's going. He's going. This Start of the it. fourth quarter. Take a look at this scramble again, RG. What a gutsy play call, but you want to talk about a hold the door moment right now, Coltrane? Here you go. At the half yard line, and he'll sneak it in. in. He was that close, and Spot Me has regained the lead. Silent tried to hold the door, and Spot Me kicked it right in to take the lead. And it's up, and it is good. And the lead is now three. Just a field goal. Here at the start of the fourth quarter. Oh, this game's intense. It's that pooch kick. Flips his way to the 43. Let's get a quick update, RG, with our guys. Guys, it's getting ugly over here. Deliverance pounding in another one on the ground. It's 34 to 10. We've seen JS make an incredible comeback already this tournament. It's going to take something special here in the fourth quarter. Otherwise, Deliverance is heading to the Super Bowl. So a three-point game over here. What Deliverance making a run in this thing, RG. I think one of the things is he said it. I'm the biggest fan of my team out of anybody here. He's a die-hard Steelers fan, and that opportunity to represent those Pittsburgh Steelers yeah. and bring that glory back to him, it means a lot to him. It's not all about the money, the ultimate league. Sometimes the glory is the most important thing to people. That's Trying to get to Minnesota. We started with 32 teams. Every team in the NFL was represented here. 
Had the NFC yesterday, AFC today, and these guys are trying to get out of their division and get to Minnesota. We had a great time here in Orlando. We're at the ESPN Wild World of Sports here in a brand new arena. I think we're the second event to ever happen in here. This thing is brand spanking new. It's a nice arena. Third and two at the 49. Of course, our final matches of the day will be on ESPN News at 10 p.m. Eastern. Tell your friends. Yeah, that's going to be awesome. The new getting Madden back on ESPN. You saw it released the deal with them and Disney. Just rapid growth for the sport. And Tyreek Hill to the 34 for Silent Soldier. Most importantly, that gets him in the field goal range, Coltrane. This game has got the feeling here in the second half. Whoever has the ball last might take this thing. Absolutely. He took the words right out of my mouth. Silent Soldiers got a new set of downs. First and ten. Brendan Cooks is solo to the left. Hands it off to Jones. Goes absolutely nowhere. You see that cross three fire press, those crossfire blitzes. What people will do is they'll keep one of the linebackers on the crossfire and their user control the other one, take away the middle of that field. And one of my favorite strategies that I've seen people do is most people are tanking their guards, but the guards who gets matched up with that linebacker on the crossfire blitz. So if you can get a decent guard, it's going to help contain that a little bit. Second and ten. Sends it from the left this time. Wentz will scramble, but could not get out of the pocket. It'll be third and nine. I'm not sure I don't run the ball here, RG. Try to get a couple yards and tie this thing up. He's going to the air. You just can't take a sack. And that's high point to Richardson, who holds on in the red zone. Oh, Big play right there. Like you said, high ball holds LB because the user defender was right there. That's a good tactic. And fortunate to hold on to it because usually when they got to jump up for it and they land in traffic, they'll let it go. Spot me please was caught on Leonard Williams there on the line. Couldn't get back to cover that seam route. Jones. He caught Silent Soldier with that same thing earlier right. in the game. The quick hike. Very I feel like you got a ton of time, you know, the guys are going to set up their hot routes. and You, you love it because the quick hike is such a big thing in Madden, but then you'll watch NFL Sunday and you'll see the Patriots. Go up there and do They'll it. They'll do the same thing. Yeah. You constantly see that in the NFL. Some of these weird schemes that you'll see Madden players come up with, you'll see them mimicked in the NFL in their own weird kind of way every now and then. And it's, it's awesome to see. I mean, strategy, football strategy is football strategy, Coltrane. So third and nine. That's going to take us all the way down to the two-minute warning in this one. Just two minutes left to find out who's going to represent the AFC South in Minnesota. Will it be Silent Soldier and the Texans? Or will it be Spot Me Please and the Tennessee Titans? Of course, the interesting thing about this game as Richardson takes it to the nine. One team used to be in Houston and one team is now in Houston. That is a little history there. I'm telling you, I'm still trying to get you the, they bring back that Stump the Schwab show. <laughs> Putting you up, Coltrane. Fourth and inches. Boy, this is, this is gutsy. This is very gutsy. Did, is, did he? Did, he didn't get it! Spot me gets the ball! What is he doing? Needed four inches and got three. Silent soldier. Could have tied the ball game there. Oh, jeez. Representing those Houston Texans trying to make a run. Takes a gamble. He does have three timeouts. He's going to need three stops. There's timeout number one. Second and 11. Oh, my gosh. This is Take a look huge. at this skin from the side. And no, 
Never got there. And we told you that quarterback sneak isn't what it used to be. If I'm going for it in that situation with my tournament life on the line, I don't think sneak's the answer. Hands it off to McKinnon. Uh oh! And that'll be a first down. See what Silent Soldier does here. He might let this play clock run. Could have tied the game. Went for it. Of course, if you get it, you're a genius. Didn't get it, and now spot me, please, has a chance to milk this thing out. McKinnon, big hit by Ronnie Lott. And, you know, an NFL coach, he might not go for that. You make a call like that, you don't get it. You might get fired. That's right. You might be coaching at the high school level. But in Madden, you're not getting fired. You're the coach. You're, you're the, the coach, GM. You're, the, you're yeah. the owner. You're the offense coordinator. You're it's the all on you. Coach. So that's why sometimes you might see people be more risky or, tr you know, try other things that you don't see in the NFL at sometimes. You don't have to worry about that type of thing. You're allowed to be more risky. Only you're one in time out. control. Remaining for silent in a three-point game. But the silent soldier organization right now and those Houston Texans put themselves in some trouble. Needs a play. Good tackle. And McKinnon. Final timeout. Right we got 73 seconds in this one. 30 second play clocks, third and five. You figure the play take about three to four seconds. Silent. Assuming Spot Me doesn't get this, have about 40 seconds left to work with. But Spot Me could end it all right here. Big play, Scott. This is it. This is where you can get the glory He's spot. He's going to put it in the air. But you Try to win it. And there's wow. the heat from the back. And now it's fourth down. Fourth and 12. And these guys don't have great punters. And Ricky says Nettles, a.k.a. Silent Soldier, will not go within the night. He's not going without a fight. He's got Silent in a situation. And like you said, he doesn't have a punter. You got to watch out for the good return here. So he'll use his kicker, Prater, to try to put a toe on it here. Early, not full power. Will it get to the sideline? Oh, no. he can return this. And it's Tyreek Hill. Couldn't get away, but you only need about 9 to 10 yards to redeem yourself and tie it up. No timeouts. I think he needed a little more out of that return. You get Tyree Kill in the open field. You need to get your stick work. Do they still say on fleek? No? Outdated? I got no idea. Oh, he's got him. Overthrow. An overthrow to the sideline. It's a good throw, though, Coltrane. You, want, you don't have any timeouts. You want to attack that sideline deep down the field. If you can catch it, get out of bounds. Reevaluate the situation in your life. Of course, you can't work it to the middle of the field. You just got to you gotta hit X there. You got to throw it to X. Oh, no. This is getting down to the nitty-gritty. Ooh, baby. Oh, Third and go. ten. At the 18. Oh, and it's picked off. Over. And I wonder if he'll score this. Uh, he's he'll down. just jump down onto the shield. You heard about falling on your sword? Well, that's falling on the shield for the victory. Oh, good run by Silent Soldier. One of the most respected players we have in the community. Such a respectful young man. But it's that man right there this time. Taylor Robertson, a.k.a. Spot me, please. The man that put Ballard, West Virginia, on the map. He's got the wife, Holly, son, Reed at home. They got to be going crazy. And you hate that for Silent Soldier and the Texans. He was down there, went for it on fourth and inches, backfired, had another opportunity. And then he throws a pick, RG, and finds his tournament dreams crushed. Man, if you're the Tennessee Titans, though, you got to be thrilled. Oh, you have a monster. You're gassed right now. Yeah. And Spot Me, please, representing you. You already made a run in the playoffs this year, a little bit of magic, and he's making some magic happen in the club championship. And it looks like he's going to have to 
request some more time off of work. That's right. You got to get that to Minnesota. GTO. Yeah, he's already burned it. He's going to be heading up to Minnesota. Three-point victory for Spot Me Please on the bottom half in the AFC North. Deliverance. It was 10-10 to -10 in that game. 24 unanswered. And Deliverance able to get the victory over Jay's the best. His magic finally ran out, RG. J.S. the best, though. I just want to take a second to give my hats off to him. He had a fantastic tournament run. Great comeback. First uh, showing at a tournament. Made a name for himself. Made his father proud. Hats off to him. But today, it's Deliverance's day, and the EMB killer is still in the tournament. Well, let's head to the winner's circle with Adrian Lawrence. Yes, I am here with Deliverance and Spot Me, please. Two of the winners moving on to Minneapolis. Now spot me, that got a little tense there for a bit. 20 to 17 win, how do you feel? Um, just fortunate enough to make it. Uh, Silent Soldier played a good game. I caught a couple breaks, uh, but I'll take it. <laughs> and you did have the highest win percentage in your division. Do you think your experience had helped you advance? I, I think uh, may maybe not the online experience, but the, the live event experience definitely helps a lot. Most certainly. And Deliverance, this being your first live event, but also you happen to have the lowest win percentage in your division, but you dominated it in one. How has this been so far? Uh, it's been great. First things first, I got to say, I think the stats are wrong on my win percentage because I'm pretty sure I'm 48 and like seven on season three. Just want to throw that out there, RG. Um, but, you know, I've just, I've played so many games. That's really, it's the experience. I've seen it all. I know how to defend most of it. And I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy. Congratulations. And also being a school psychologist, do any of your students know how good you are in Madden? Uh, a few of them, mostly my middle schoolers. Those are the ones that are getting a little more into it. I told them uh, my biggest worry right now, i got to find a way to find some more time to get off of work to go up to Minnesota. So, <laughs> Well, that's not a bad situation to be in. Congratulations to both of you on your win and all the best in moving on. You, to you, RG and Rico. <laughs> Sorry, Rico, Dave, for you. Thank you, Adrian. Appreciate it.